Yo, what's good with y'all, gang, man? And as we all know, bro, it's festive season back in Grand Theft Auto Online, bro. The snow is back. All the new festive stuff is back. And with this, we got us a brand new Yeti Hunt um, event in GTA Online, bro, where you can get the brand new white snow yeti outfit bro and in this video bro i want to give y'all a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it how to get it and stuff like that man so without further ado make sure you leave a like on this video if this help you out man subscribe if you new we just hit six thousand subscribers thank y'all for the little support but yeah let's get into this guy gang all right gang so the very first step to starting up this yeti hunt is finding the location to really get the message man so basically what you want to do is you want to fly up or drive up to around the lost MC hideout, kind of sort of up north next to the um next to the military base, man. Just fly up there and you just fly up to that little area, fly like you're going towards Polito Bay, and you should end up getting the message from Tanner, man. And the message reads, hey, you a hunter, you better be, because there's something in the woods and it ain't a bear. Trust me, damn thing nearly killed me once. They'll say you crazy till you get his hides. Then you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. And once you get that man, you'll see this big bubble, white bubble pop up. Just filled with locations, man, where you can go find them, man. Like I said, I'm going to give y'all step by step every location that you need to be able to find these, buddy. But that's how you start it off. You won't even see the area marked on the map until you get this message, man. And the fastest way to do it is to just fly up towards Pleadon Bay. And eventually, once you get to a certain distance, you'll just see it, man. All right, game, man. So for the very first clue location, you want to go up to this broken tree where you're going to see, like, this severed head and hand combination man i got it marked directly on the map brody you get this location um discovery and you should get like ten thousand dollars for each and every last one of these brody but this is the very first location that you gotta find to get this started man. for the second location you want to go up to this bloody tent i got it marked on the map again go up to this bloody tent you should see it kind of like on top of a hill and then you just same thing just discover it get ten thousand dollars and we move on to the third Okay, now this third location is a little bit tricky to find because of the snow, but you basically want to go to this location on the map, and then you want to go down to where you see a red car, and you should bump into this bloody, ripped up kind of shirt from, you know, right on the side, man. Once you see this, that's the next location, man. The fourth location, bro. This one is really easy. The last two locations is really easy. But this location, man, just go to the area right here on the map. You're going to go right under this bridge where you're going to see this flipped over car wreck. And that's pretty much it, man. You want to discover the car wreck, gang. All right, gang, man. The very last location. This one was extremely easy. This is actually the very first location that I found when I first did this over on my stream last night. But it says dead deer, man. Unfortunately, this deer came to an unfortunate end. But just walk up to this deer, investigate the clue. And then, from what I'm hearing, after you get all five clues, you have to be in that area of anywhere from 8 to, I think, 5 or 6 a.m. in game, bro. Basically, in game, you have to be there during the night. It will not spawn at night, man. And unfortunately, bro, I will tell you, it takes a lot of bullets to kill it. Or, you know what I'm saying, if you want to use something like what I use, the explosive shotgun or something like that, it pretty much did a lot of damage to it. But if you do end up dying, if you do end up coming to an unfortunate end with this Yeti, bro, I do hear that there is a 48-minute cooldown if you end up dying, man. So try not to let it kill you. But once you kill it, you get you another $50,000, buddy, and you unlock the whole entire um, white snow Yeti outfit, man. It's cool. It's pretty much the Sasquatch outfit, but white, man. So that's how the guy it is brody i mean that's how you get it that's the guy to get in the yeti outfit brody but that's pretty much it i definitely do appreciate each and every last one of y'all man make sure you leave a like on the video if it helped you out but until the next one gang i'm about this time man peace